Water coolers are always louder than air coolers. Well, that might be true in theory, but after watching this video, you will be able to prove the opposite with your water-cooled PC. Let me show you how. I'm going to use the Fan Expert software for the X470F gaming motherboard from Asus. Other manufacturers have similar programs available. The water cooling system is of course our very own Pure Loop 240mm. In order to minimize other noise sources, we are going to adjust the fan curve for our Pure Wings 2 fans within the Pure Base 500 case to an extremely quiet curve with medium airflow. First, I'm going to find out the rotational speed of the water coolers fans for everyday office tasks, YouTube videos and web browsing. I use the standard profile as a basis and take a look at the curve. So here the first point is locked at 40 degrees and 16% of the maximum rotation. Now I use the computer casually and just start one of our YouTube videos, do some office works and keep an eye on a software that shows me the maximum CPU temperatures which reaches round about 48 degrees. But Keep in mind that I'm running a capture software in the background, so 48 degrees is quite a good base value for healthy operations at low load. In your case, just add two or three degrees on your value. The thing is, at this level, I cannot hear the two Pure Wings 2 PWM fans at all. The question is now, at which point will we reach the noise threshold? So I arbitrarily raise the curve to a start value of let's say about 36%, do my usual work on my PC and then keep listening in order to find out up to which value I still find it pleasantly quiet. Sound volume is a highly subjective sensation and of course also depends on the distance between the listener and the noise source. 36% is still quite a mouse which means that I can keep cranking up the rotation. After a bit of experimentation, I found 43% to be the optimal value for me. So this is my lowermost threshold of hearing. At this rotational speed and at 48 degrees, I have a huge buffer before the fans have to rotate faster in order to give me more cooling power, thus passing my personal limit and become audible. Next up, we are going to find the maximum point. That is the highest temperature that I want my CPU to run at. Once again, this is highly subjective. 70 degrees, for example, may seem quite conservative, given that the CPU manufacturers enclose really subpar coolers with their processors, which allow 80 degrees or more while gaming before the CPU starts getting throttled back. This means that you can demand quite a bit from your computer still, I want my CPU to not run hotter than 80 degrees Celsius, so I choose a maximum point with 80 degrees Celsius and 81% of my maximum RPM. After that, the fans are unleashed and run immediately with 100%. As a result, most people will get a straight line between the start and the maximum value, but I want my system to be as quiet as possible, which means that this curve must be flattened. The next marker in the fan graph, the middle one, is there to indicate a load scenario in which the CPU is in heavy demand but still remains cool. In order to find the most appropriate rotational speed for that, I'm going to use a CPU stress test which doesn't put a strain on the GPU so that its fans keep quiet. In this case, I use Cinebench. My starting point for the rotational speed of the fans within this stress test is slightly below the current line and after I set my new middle point, I just start the test run. Working Cinebench with my personal setting for about 10 minutes gives me a temperature of 64 degrees. A good start for additional adjustments in which I reduce the rotational speeds. The test runs show that our Pure Loop 240mm is quite well equipped for this setup and after experimenting with a heavy load, I end up at pretty quiet 52% and 71 degrees. In order to verify this, I follow this test up with Prime95. The hearing test for the dedicated CPU benchmark ends up being extremely satisfying. But in order to be able to include the GPU's heat dissipation, we need a gaming benchmark in 4K. 
the fans of the RTX 2060 are quite audible and as decibels add up, it is crucial to perfectly adjust the Pure Wings 2 fans on the radiator. If you need more information about the nature of decibels, please check out the video in the info box. After half an hour, we end up at a mere 62 degrees. Depending on the GPU and the case, this value might be higher which means that the fan curve has to be adjusted appropriately. And that is it. Now I have three fixed points. The first one is for my everyday work, which has the system running inaudibly. The second one is for my high demand tasks, in which the CPU will get a bit hot, but the system still remains comfortably quiet. In our case, not above 970 RPM per minute. And the last one is the final frontier, running the system as its absolute maximum, pushing the CPU as far and hot as possible. Sounds quite dramatic, but honestly, I really don't think I'm ever going to reach that threshold. And even if I do, I still know that the system can handle it due to the maximum rotational speed of the fans. So, as you may have noticed, there is no such thing as a general cooling curve that can be applied to each and every computer. It is highly recommended that everyone finds out the perfect curve for them by themselves and ideally while the computer is already in its fixed place. And while you're at it, you really should also optimize your case fan curves as a cherry on top. So do it, get on your computer and fix your fan curves. In any case, stay quiet. Pun totally intended. <laughs>